Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> I know I've been slacking again with videos. Um, I just haven't really had any ideas on what videos to do. <laughs> and I've been busy with, um, with school. Uh, I am finishing school. I only have three classes left before I uh, finish with my degree. Woohoo! Um, but anyway, I wanted to do this video because I think it's absolutely cool. Um, I'm a big, like, nature fanatic, so, <laughs> um, I figured, uh, I would show you guys what I got here going on. Um, if you look out in my backyard here, you can see, like, my back patio area here. I've had to rescue, like, same blue jay like 10 times already because he keeps getting trapped and can't get out so that's been fun and some doves there's been a couple of doves that get stuck but uh yeah um so anyway so with us being in quarantine with this whole covid19 thing going on i wanted to do something kind of fun for my kids or mostly me but for the kids too um <laughs> So I was on Amazon and I saw that they sell praying mantis eggs, which um, the case that it comes in looks like this. Let's see if I can hold on. Sorry. Um, it, it, it comes with, this one came with two egg sacs, one here and one here. They aren't the prettiest looking things, but um, as you can see, there unfortunately are a couple dead ones on the bottom there. For some reason, they didn't make it, but there's still more to come out of this, out of these two sacks. So, um, typically, each egg sack holds about 50 to 200 uh, praying mantis eggs. So, um, it kind of takes over a couple days usually for them to all hatch if they're gonna hatch. Um, I received this on April 10th. Today is what the 30th, and I believe um, it took about two and a half weeks ish for them to start hatching. Um, I happened to look on check on them on yesterday or last night rather, and I had one little baby in there, so I was like, Yay! I got so excited. <laughs> My husband thinks I'm crazy, but anyway, um, when you order the container, it comes with this little lid which has a screen. So that way they can't escape. And um, depending on which one you order, you can get one, two, three, four. It just depends on, like I said, which which one you order with uh, the number of egg sacs you get. And then it comes with just this little bedding down here. So that way um, they don't hurt themselves or anything when they come out. Um, what I did was is I took some skewers, some bamboo skewers that I had and I just cut them down and I glued them to the back part of the egg sac because um, typically they need to be hanging like this because they drop down when they start hatching. So it just makes it easier for them to hatch. Um, so when these babies hatch, they're like maybe an inch long. Um, and over here is just like one of those um, Chinese fast food containers um, that you get when you order Chinese and so I took one of those and I turned it into a little home for my praying mantis now you're probably asking how what are you going to do with two to four hundred baby praying mantises well I plan on keeping about 10 to 15 and then I'm going to release the rest of them outside in the bushes um, because obviously <laughs> we can't house that many. So, um, and that's typically what most people do is they'll release most of them and keep a couple. Um, but this is my little setup here. I have some eco earth on the bottom. Um, you don't want it damp. So it's, um, it's for the most part pretty dry, but you don't want it like soaking wet. Um, and what you want to do is just kind of mist some water in here or just flick some water like you see here because you do want some humidity in here 
Um, and then what I did was is I just grabbed a little branch from outside and stuck it in there. Because they like the climb and it helps them to, for when they molt, they can hang um, onto one of the branches and hang upside down and molt. So, and I'm sure you guys saw, there is one of the babies right there. They're super, super tiny. And they are so freaking cute. So, there's one right there. It's one of my healthy ones. The other one is high up. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's cute. Here he comes. There's the other one. I think he's looking for food. Now, with these guys, you want to be careful because they do jump. So, I don't really recommend handling them this small because they will jump and you will never find them. Or at least have them in a contained area where you can locate them. Um, right now, I had three that hatched. These two... So far, are my feistiest ones. They are very healthy. They are very, very just strong. Um, as you can see, this one's gonna try and pop out. There is a third one in here, but I don't know that he's going to make it. I don't know if you can see, but right down at the bottom here. Let's see if I can. You can see his little head right here. He's hanging onto the branch. Um, he is having a bit of a rough time. Um, he has some stuck mole on him or from the nest. And uh, so I had to help him out a little bit with trying to get that off because he couldn't walk. So I'm trying to keep an eye on this little dude. He's looking like he's wanting to bolt. Um, but I'm hoping he's gonna come through and get stronger. And I'm hoping he's going to make it. Um, hopefully we'll have a lot more babies coming from this nest. But so far, just these three. Um, now as far as... I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here. As far as food goes, um, I will be picking up some either pinhead crickets. The small, small ones. Or... Um, you see he's hanging up he's hanging right there um i will be getting either the smallest pinhead crickets that they carry or i will be getting um also some flightless fruit flies at this point they're so tiny that they can only eat a few things due to their size uh, this is my first time like owning praying mantises so there's still a few things that i'm learning but um one thing I have learned is that when you have a when you have hatchlings, you do not want to feed them anything that is bigger than them or that can can hurt them, such as um, ants, um, uh, big crickets, anything that can bite them. Potentially, you don't want to give them. So anything, their best bet is anything like flies, fruit flies, the flightless fruit flies and the super 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 tiny pinhead crickets is basically what you want to give them at this stage um, they typically will go through a couple molts um, as hatchlings from what I've been told and what I've read is you can keep hatchlings together until like after their second molt and then that's when you want to separate them because they will go cannibal and eat each other um, and then like every couple days you want to make sure you mist the inside of their enclosure because they do like humidity. Um, what else? Um, typically these guys grow, these are um, related to the Chinese mantises. Um, they're a European mantis. And um, these guys full grown as adults, I believe can get up to between eight and I want to say eight and sometimes 12 inches so um and on most of the time these guys don't really make it to adulthood uh, i guess for whatever reason they just don't always make it <laughs> but um 
I wanted to get them because I've been seriously wanting to uh, get some mantises so that I could raise a couple and see what the see what the fun was all about. And I figured my kids would all get a kick out of it. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, if you do decide um, you want to you want to own uh, praying mantises. Um, as babies, you want to make sure the enclosure is completely closed off. What I did was I just poked um, some tiny, tiny holes in the top. But you want to make sure that it's completely enclosed. There's no way for them to escape. Um, so things like the critter keepers and stuff like that, you want to stay away from because they'll slip right through the, the air vents. Um, so anything like this is actually ideal because they're so small. And then as they get bigger and uh, can't fit through those air slots, Air, air vents then you can switch them over to something um, bigger obviously but uh so yeah i'm just waiting on the rest of these little dudes to start hatching i'm excited it's seriously like christmas for me <laughs> but uh but yeah if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment box below and uh i hope everybody's doing well I hope everybody's staying safe. I know everybody's probably going crazy right now um, with this COVID-19 virus. Uh, for the most part, uh, we've been staying home, staying healthy, and uh, just trying to get through each day. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.